we're back with, um, what are we playing again? Deception! Right, right. Oh, uh, thank you, Rosa. I've never seen your eyes before now, but now I have. So, let's go straight over to Jeremy Sands. We don't really need to I use our... I don't have time to do any writing. Yeah. And if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. Which is good, because you don't have to keep going around anymore. And, of course, here's a lovely picture that we've seen before. And probably two other pictures that we've seen before, but we, we might as well have a look at them while they're here. Da. And then... Da. Joey, you always look beautiful. Okay. Let's go and visit Jeremy Sands, since he did ask us to come visit him. To Jeremy! It's open. Come on in. Oh, cool. Wow, you don't have any lights on. Cool. Is wow. this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. I haven't been feeling well, as I said. Who's your friend? Uh... <laughs> something wrong? Uh, no! No, nothing's at all wrong! Jeremy, it's good to see you. You look... great. Yeah, fantastic! Hardly. I feel like death. Yeah, funny about that. I just that. caught a nasty bug or something. Yeah, Horrible yeah. Time. Now, how did you I'm use the, the phone? something really big. That's why I need your help. You need our help, all right. Yeah. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. Yeah, he's my this friend. This is Joey. He's kind of my... Assistant? Assistant. An assistant? Really? Shh, Definitely be quiet. Come a long way since the village I... Yeah, totally. You could say that. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joey. I like the hat. Totally. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Okay, tell us about your story. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. You know, it just doesn't seem to tell Do you know where the city post news office is? I think so. Yeah. This clue is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Just go up there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. Okay, cool. I go myself, but... Yeah, that, that one not exactly good. up to snuff. No, no, no. Snuff, snuff is, is the word, word all right. Jeremy, what? Uh, so what do you say? Will you help me? Yes. yes. Of course Totally. It's what I do. Um, I'm not going to ask him about his death well, because, you know, I already know that he's I not, really he's going to be like, what are you talking this, about? Angela. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. Totally. All right. Rosa it is, then. So, because he's one of those people that are in denial, so he thinks he's just got a really bad oh cold. Oh my god. Is that me? What? I mean, us? Wow. Yeah, yeah, it is. You remember the 05 Christmas party? Oh, do I ever? Yeah, that was a while ago. I was going through some old pictures when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. Yeah. So ghosts not only, you know, can use the phone now, they can also go through photos. I think the power of a, de a ghost in denial probably has more power than one who knows what he's doing. Because, I mean, like, Joey can't touch anything. Hey, look. And, oh. Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. Really? That's I know nice it's of you. I weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Don't worry about it. Well, mm. when I'm over this flu, I'll make it up to you. I promise. We're gonna go out, no, baby. you don't have to do that. Really. Why, why just, not? Just take care of yourself. Aww. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, I suppose. A little bit, yeah. You know yeah. that newspaper office is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then let's hop to it. Hop to it, baby. Go speak to the receptionist lady. Could I help you? Wow. I didn't even get in the door before you said that. What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor. But oh, cool. I haven't seen him in a few days. Uh, so you don't yeah. know where he is now? Okay. I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. Oh, no, not quite. I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rose Angela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Really? Uh... I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. Fine. Do you know anything about Let Jeremy's me tell you death? about Jeremy's death. Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Yeah. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? Yes. You, mean you don't know? Of course not. What don't happened think, to him? I don't think anyone knows sure. yet. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I don't know. I just been Where's told he that he's dead. I don't well, know. I don't know. Right. This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. 
That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. <laughs> yeah. Sir. I'll be going, I guess. I Bye. guess. Later, she's going to be much more cooperative, but for now, we're going to have to be Joey. Joey, go upstairs. Go to the door. Oh, look. It's the only one that really shows. 7 p.m. the High Line. No, wait. Go, come back there. Could This could be it. Even you... if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. Yeah, but you could at least read it, boy. I wish I could, but I can't pick it up. <sighs> Fine. All right, go tell Rosa. Stymied by another door. Sometimes I wonder why I bother bringing you along. <laughs> she keeps looking around the room and sighing. Jealousy, maybe? Yeah, hang on. Sorry, Rosa. Um, no. Yeah, 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 wait till, wait till you're alone. I get it. To the High Line! Oh, no. Yeah, I guess this is where he died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. I know you are. That's just morbid. Why not? Just lie in it. You know, it could be fun. Let's speak to the detective. Excuse me, officer? It's Detective. Detective Durkin. Or Grindislav, anyway. Hour. But yeah. <laughs> Did something happen here? Well, no, I'm yes. Just read on. Of course something happened. You should run along home. You don't want the same thing to happen to you. Well, now in addition to this being our good friend Grundislav, um, this is also Sam Durkin, which if you remember, is um, the son of uh, Mavis Durkin, who was the crazy apartment lady from Unbound. So it all comes together. Could you tell me who it was? Couldn't, even if I wanted to, because we, we don't, don't know. know. Well, so it's, uh, what do you call it, uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, let me just tell you his name. I think I know who the victim was. You do, huh? His name was Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? I'm I a psychic. Just do? I'll just you tell just him. just do. Yes. What is it about Pox that brings out all the crazies? Is this even a park? It looks like a very, uh, concrete park. I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You just want to look at it. You want to look at the body? What? You know how crazy you sound? Yeah. I do. You come out of nowhere and say you know a stiff by looking at an outline on pavement? <laughs> yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. <sighs> you're being difficult. I'm offering information here. Why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? We have procedures. We'll release a photograph and then get a proper ID. Now run along. Okay, fine. You know right. what? I'll be back. It's a free country. Totally. Let's go get that photograph that Jeremy had. Yo, Jeremy. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. I was wondering if I could have this picture. Jeremy, could I have this photo? It's so really? cute. You, you want it? If well, it's okay. Why not? Sure. I've got copies somewhere. Go right ahead. Aww. I think you're sweet on me, Jeremy. I'll be back. See you later. <laughs> he was like, what? What? You came back just for that? Yep. Hey. Do you like the picture of my friend? Is this the same man you found? Let me see that. That's him, all right. What did you say his name was? Jeremy Sams. Jeremy Sams. And what's your relation to him? He used to work with him. We used with to him. work together. Hmm. You know any of his family? Anyone we can notify or speak to? Uh... I know he was a reporter for the City Post. Right. I'll give him a call. And we're gonna have to follow up with you, too. You got a number? I do! Here's my card. Spiritual services, huh? Why do I always end up with the nuts? Well, because anyway, your mother was a right. ghost. Good night. Don't stay up here too long. It ain't safe. What? Um, you're welcome? That's all he wanted to do? Well, go That's lay down in morbid. it. No, go lay down in it. It's not that morbid. Alright, now let's go speak to the lady at the city post to be like, Hey, have you been told oh, now? it's you. I just got off the phone with the police. That's nice, dear. Let us in. You were right. Jeremy is really dead. Oh. I just saw him two days ago. That doesn't it's stop him being nice dead. Me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. About before, I was a complete jerk. Why didn't you say it was murder? I wasn't sure at the time. Police seemed pretty sure. 
You said you were investigating his death? Yes. I wanted to take a look at his desk. Right. I'll buzz you in. The place is empty. I'm just here holding the phones. Take as much time as you need. Just find whoever did this, okay? I'll do my best. Yes. Best. Being the operative word. Come on, Joey. Fine. Stay down there looking at the receptionist. You're not creepy at all. Ah, take that. All right, Jeremy. What were you up to? Let's see if it was worth getting killed over. According to this, Jeremy interviewed a woman named Penelope Haynes. All right, interview Penelope Haynes. Um, four slash thirteen. Uh, let me work. That's January, February, March. It's okay, April. I just sometimes when I get around to April, sometimes I just need to count down. But anyway, phone call interview. She's eager, too eager. Go in person. Uh, Mitt Penelope talks in circles. I got the gist. Definite connection. Penelope gave me an Addy for follow-up. Good enough. Follow-up tried to scam me. No surprise. But she can connect me. Progress. Left my phone there. Stupid. So, Jeremy called us and he didn't even have a phone to call us with. And I'm going to take this press pass. And there's a whiteboard. A whiteboard for anything. I'll have a read of it. I'll have a look at his computer. Surely the man has email. There's nothing on Jeremy's computer worth looking at. What? The man doesn't have email to look at? I don't need to... Ah, fine. Get out of here. Nothing else to do here. Back down we go. Hey, thanks for the fun times. We're going. Okay, let's go speak to Jeremy about our findings. Come on in. Oh, hi Rosa. Make yourself at home. Totally. Um, now, I'm just going to check my phone. Well, for one thing, I've now got my lovely two phone calls. Um, oh look, new email. Ah. Oh, this isn't, you know, the yacht, man. I knew contacting a spiritualist was a stupid idea, but I didn't expect this to happen. No sooner do I contact you than my yacht is in pieces on the Jersey Shore. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not the foresight to give you my name. Do not try and contact me. I... Oh, find me anyway. I will suddenly not be looking for you. Yeah. Oh, mail from the Shanti. Hello from Jaipur. <laughs> no, I won't do a terrible accent. This trip has been wonderful, but I'm really looking forward to heading home. I'm not used to being the world traveler I used to be, it seems. And I'm sure poor Motti is raising hell at the kennel. Either way, I wanted to check in. We'll have dinner when I get back. Nishanti. Why didn't Why didn't we get to keep Motti? He likes us. Alright. Let's just do a journal. Uh, Jeremy Sams. No results found. This search engine can kind of suck. Sam Durkin. Mavis Durkin. Oh, see? Can't find anything in this damn thing. Penelope Haynes. See? There you go. Now it's a park. So, not everything is in here, but enough to make it worthwhile. Um, let's see, is your phone here? Through. One ghost is usually okay. Oh yeah, right. The ghosts. Jeremy? Yes? yes. I got your notes. I got your notebook. You are a rock star. I know, right? Here you go. Take it. <gasps> right. On second thought, could you read it out to me? This flu is making me a bit fuzzy. I'm having trouble focusing my eyes. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Excuses? Yes. yes. Please. Sure, Jeremy. Thank you. Hmm. All right. So, when did you leave the village eye? A little after you. Most of us did. Really? Our boss was a slime ball. When you left, we all followed your example. Aww. I had no idea. You meant nice. So, the city post. That's pretty impressive. It's grueling work, but it's been nice. Mm. Everyone's saying that print newspapers are dying, but there's something legit about being in print. Really? 